In this video, I'm going to introduce you to using services in HP Helium Staccato. I'm starting off with my HP Helium Staccato MicroCloud up and running on my Mac. You can watch a video of how to do this if you haven't already. We're going to look at what services are already available for our applications in the default setup and how we can enable new services. So what is a service? A service is an external system, such as a database or a message queue. Staccato has some built-in services that your applications can use, such as File System, MySQL, and Postgres. These are created as Docker containers. When your application needs to access one of these services, a service instance is created. Here is the MySQL database service instance we have for our scaling application. If we take a look at this application, we do indeed see the service instances connected to the application. This service was created and bound to the application as part of the deployment. We will talk more about this in part two of our video. You can also enable other services. Let's jump across to our sample applications. You can see a bottle currency converter application that requires Redis, but since Redis is not available, we will not be able to deploy the app. If we jump to our admin menu, then cluster, we can modify the cluster configuration to enable Redis. You can see our main cluster node has many services configured, something we will look at in a later video. If we hit configure, we can go ahead and add Redis to our microcloud. It will only take a few seconds to add. We can now switch back to our applications and try to deploy the bottle currency converter again. This time we can deploy the application and select all the defaults. We will go ahead and start the application and in a few seconds we will be up and running. If we go and view the app, it all looks good. Back on the console, we can see there is a Redis service attached to the application. If we click into this, we can get some basic information about the service, as well as access to credential information, such as host IP, username, password. When a service instance is created, these values get configured automatically by the service broker and get passed into the application via environment variables. More about that in the next video.